I might make some adjustments to y'all overalls, or maybe I'll make an adjustment to the guy in front of your overall. I mean, I, I don't really like getting into all of that shit, but I do want y'all on the field. If you're going to a place where it's like you're never going to fucking play, like that's not why we did it. We want you on the field. So if the best dude is a 77, maybe I make you a 78 so that the computer plays. Not this year. You red shirt this year. But you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all should I do something like that? I'm not going to do too much. Don't come with that crazy shit. I know. <laughs> I know y'all do. They don't do too much. But in some of y'all's cases, if I do it for some, then I basically got to do it for everybody. I, I will have to either knock the person down that's in front of you because I can't change your position or boost you up to kind of get you on the field. Hit me up in the comments. I'm not saying that whatever you say I'm going to do in this case, I will weigh the options. But yeah, it's an issue. It's an issue that needs to be resolved, man. And this shit is unprecedented. So it's my blueprint. So, you know, I'm, go I'm figuring it out as I go. Whoa. What's good, man? My name is Flim Low Raps, and today, got another video for you, bro. Now, I know Mondays are supposed to be for gameplay, but my equipment on the bullshit again, man. It threw the sound crazy off. That's actually why, like, the last three videos from last week, the sound was fucked up, because I had to use the camera sound. So now I'm recording two different softwares just to make sure I got high quality sound. However, the Texas Tech game was the last of the ones that got hit. Hopefully, I'm thinking that the issue is fixed now. Anyway, I know what you're thinking. Damn, Flim, Texas Tech again? Yeah, man, Texas Tech again. Fortunately, this year, nothing crazy happened like the six pick game we had last year. It was just a regular old ass whooping and the subs got in super quick. All right, 62 to 24. Um, it started out kind of close, but you can see the second half, man. 28 unanswered points, and we ran away with it. This video is actually not gonna be about the about this game at all. This video is gonna be a long overdue video. Uh, basically, we're gonna check up on the first subscriber recruiting class so if you're in that class be sure to stay tuned if you're not in that class man still check it out bro you're going to see what everybody's doing see what your boy is looking like you know what i'm saying so basically what we're gonna do i'm gonna take a look at each individual recruit that is already on a team so the guys from the last season who've already been chosen i'm gonna go check you out see if you're playing or if you red shirt to see what your stats looking like See what you're doing and also see what your prospects are for becoming that dude or the man in the future. Because most of y'all went to some pretty good teams, so I doubt that you're just lighting the world on fire this first year. Alright man, so I thought a uh, good way to do this, let's see. Boom. <laughs> I put everybody's injury on 99, so all teams, all positions, sort, and... Boom, you see a shit ton of SBs popping up. I'm pretty sure this is everybody. I'm going to call out the names real quick, and then I'll go through each individual. If I miss you, don't trip. All you got to do, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Give me your name. Give me the team you went to. Let me go fix that and make sure I get that SB behind your name so that it's super easy for me to find you in the future. All right, man, so we got Upsetting to Sticks Newman, Jacob Neal, Shane Trevor, Robert Aponte, uh, Connor Ross, Ted Carter, Victor Oyewale, Sid Poston, Ewan Gordon, who should have an SB. I'm going to add that in a second. Uh, Tony Garcia and Ryan Kearney. And I think that's the whole class. All right, and basically, I'm going to go hit each person and see what you're looking like. We're going to go in order. First, we got Upsetting 2, Plan for Action. All right, bro. You actually, man, you looking pretty good, dude. You're in a pretty good spot. You got two juniors on the team that have the same overall as you, uh, but you are touching the field. So here we go. Not touching it a whole bunch, man. You're averaging about three yards a carry, uh, 22 yards per game. So, you know, change your pace back. You're not getting it a whole bunch. Receiving. 
You got five catches uh, for 84 yards, averaging about 17 yards per game. And you got in the end zone, big dog. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you got your first collegiate touchdown. And you had a 45-yard catch, which is dope. Okay, so you're a fast guy. So I figured you probably were on kick return. Boom. You're on kick return. All right, so you average 22 yards per kick return and damn, 16 and a half yards per punt return. That's pretty, that's pretty damn good. So upsetting too, man. That's what you're looking like, bruh. I think you're in a pretty good position to make some noise, man, in a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Next up, we got Sticks Newman, uh, Florida. You're red shirting this year, son. Uh, you got a lot of people, man. Freshman, junior, another freshman, senior, junior, senior. A lot of these cats are older. Honestly, I think you're not in a bad spot. I'm thinking that after, it's probably going to be your sophomore, your junior year, when you can really get in here and start making some noise. But that's kind of what happens sometimes. When you go to these schools like Florida, can't come in and play right away because there's a lot of talent that's already developed on the team. But as you look, man, 88 seniors, like, that's not that impressive, you know? You're a 77 freshman. You're going to redshirt, so you'll be like an 84 freshman next year, maybe an 82, 83. So you have a chance to actually hit this 88 as like a sophomore. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be a lot better than these cats. We just got to kind of keep an eye on your situation and watch you on your rides. All right, so we got two people playing for Louisville. Uh, first up, Shane Trevor, wide receiver. Man, you're actually already sitting in the fourth spot. So that's pretty damn good. We're going to check the stats out in a sec, but look at this, man. Two seniors. Damn, let's do 6'6". Six, six. A junior. And then you, right? So next year, off top, you're going to be in that second spot. So you already know. You're already playing, man. You got 10 catches already. You're averaging 19 yards per catch. You had a 68-yarder. But you got caught from behind, man. You did not score on the 68-yard reception. What's up? <laughs> I don't know. It could have been like a Hail Mary type pass. You could have caught it and got tackled right now. Who knows? Because you got 47 yards out the damn catch, so. Pretty good. That's pretty damn good, actually. Also on the same team, we got Jacob Neal, tight end. Uh, freshman, you got a junior and a senior above you, so you're also looking in a good spot. This dude will be a senior next year. You are redshirting? You're not redshirting. Why? I'm not sure why you're not redshirting, but you're lucky playing a little bit, man. You got two catches. You haven't scored yet. You ain't drop no passes, so that's what's up. <laughs> and no blocking stats. I don't know why they wasted a year like that, man. They could have just let you just redshirt. Next up, we got my boy, Big Robert Aponte uh, over at Miami. And man, that free safety spot is looking stacked. So you redshirting this year, which is good. But this dude is a redshirt freshman. He's a beast. This dude is a, a damn red shirt sophomore. He's nice. Whew. It's gonna be tough, Rob. You got to rise up, son. You really gonna have to. Damn, it's hard because he already got five points on you. So it's gonna be hard to catch up with this cat. I'm not sure if I can. I'm pretty sure I actually can't change your position in the offseason to get another team. I've never ever tried, so I guess I won't write it off. But y'all can let me know in the comments if you can do anything like that. Because if I could, I'd move you. Maybe to Strong or somewhere else where you can get some earlier playing time. But as fast as you are, I know you're going to probably still be returning kicks. But you need to be out there on defense. You feel me? All right, next up we got Connor Ross, who is actually already sitting in a nickel spot. Yeah, already sitting in the nipple spot, man. You got a couple tackles, two, five assists, two deflections. You're just out there kind of getting your feet wet. Uh, let's see. You're pretty fast. Hey, returning kicks. So, 15 um, returns already. You're averaging about 21 yards per return. That's what's up. Per return, ooh, you're only averaging seven, seven goddamn yards per return, man. That ain't, that ain't really too good. But your kick return stats look good. And y'all here corner doing this thing. 
So that's what's up. And check this out. Senior junior. So this dude's gone. So next year you will be starting at receiver. Rem I mean, I'm sorry, at corner. And the guys who we know are going to be starting next year, remind me. I want to play y'all's teams next year. You know what I'm saying? When I'm doing this damn schedule and I get toward the end of the season, remind me, man. I want to play Nebraska because if you're going to be out there, we want to pick on you. I'm going to just... <laughs> I mean, we're going to give you a chance to shine shit. I'm going to throw it up. Just see what happens. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my guy's going to catch on you. You probably feel like y'all gonna, you're going to pick it off. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, man. Next up, we got Ted Carter. And I ain't going to lie. You are in the best position possible. Check this out, man. You're a freshman. And look who's starting over you. A red shirt senior, you know he out of there, and you're second on the depth chart right now. Now you got James Jackson, who's only two points behind you, but if you get ran down and passed up by him, you just ain't training, man. So if you're the starting quarterback for Syracuse, we're playing Syracuse. We got Nebraska, we got Syracuse uh, for next year. Um, I'm kind of known of teams that I don't normally play, but I do want to play against the subs and kind of see y'all, you know what I'm saying, out there. So you kind of see what you're doing. Right? I think that's pretty cool. Amazingly, you're not red shirt this year. I guess old boy must have got hurt and went out for a drive because you got four attempts, which is so stupid. But you got four attempts, one completion, and a pick. Come on, Ted, man. What you doing out here, bro? <laughs> And you got sacks. All right, man. You got out there. You got beat up a little bit. But you're still looking good for next year to possibly be the starter. Don't let me forget to check this, man. Don't let me forget to check this and see. Because if you're the starter, we damn sure need to be playing you. All right? And that goes for everybody. Like, especially if I just said it looked like you're going to be starting or playing. Get some significant time. Especially start. You know? Let me know. Remind me that I do want to play you guys. Play your team. All right, next up, we got Victor Oye Wale. Uh, you're sitting behind Michael Johnson. You are red shirting, thank goodness. All right, man, so you're red shirting this year. This dude will be a junior next year. You'll be a freshman. So by the time you're a junior, this cat will be gone. So all you got to do is not get ran down from behind. And then you could play your junior, senior year, and we'll be sure to play Arkansas those years. And you can be a damn beast, because you're already cold, you really should be starting. But this dude has a really high overall and amazing acceleration. <laughs> 98 cell, that's, that's dope, my guy. Did it to him. But anyway, Vic, that's what you're looking like, man. Next up, we got UCLA. We got two people playing for UCLA. First up, Sid Poston. Um, Sid, who's a goddamn beast, who will win the Hoffman for sure if you're on my team. But you got to win the UCLA. So let's see. You got senior, senior, okay, cool. And a junior. Man, you sit nice, okay? You red shirt, hell yeah, Sid. You red shirt in this year. These two guys will be gone. And then your sophomore year, this dude will be gone. So you'll have it all to yourself for three years. Probably going to be somebody come behind you, so you better train your ass off. Ewan Gordon. All right, Ewan, man, you got, okay, you got a junior and senior in front of you, and two seniors at right. They'll be stupid if they don't move one of y'all to right. You should start next year. We got to look at that, man. I don't know, honestly, how the computer does that shit. I, I honestly never paid attention. I don't know if they actually make those adjustments or if they don't. They should, and if they do, you should be starting next year. Next up, we got Tony Garcia who came to Utah. Now, Tony, you're red shirt in this year, and man, it's gonna be tough, bro, because Simpson's a sophomore, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I got other backs coming in, but I will find some goddamn playing time for you on the field, I promise you. So, you're gonna definitely get some spin next year, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna red shirt this year, but next year, you're gonna see yourself on the field, you're gonna make some plays, big dog, all right? And last but not least, Ryan Kearney. Um, Ryan, man, you're sitting at fourth on the chart. You got a senior, two sophomores. Fuck. 
Fuck Brian, man. We got to make some shape, big dog. We got to make some shape. And actually, I'll come back into these, into several of these, and kind of revisit you guys next season, or probably at the end of the season. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna make some adjustments. I might make some adjustments to y'all overall, or maybe I'll make an adjustment to the guy in front of your overall. I mean, I, I don't really like getting into all of that shit, but I do want y'all on the field. So if you're going to a place where it's like, you're never gonna fucking play, like, that's uh, not, you know, that's not why we did it. We want you on the field. So if the best dude is a 77, maybe I make you a 78 so that the computer plays. Not this year, you red shirt this year. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I don't know, y'all let me know. Y'all, should I do something like that? I'm not gonna do too much. Don't come with that crazy shit, I know. <laughs> I know y'all do, it would be too much, but, in some of y'all's cases, if I do it for some, then I basically gotta do it for everybody. I will have to either knock the person down that's in front of you because I can't change your position, or boost you up to kind of get you on the field. So I don't know. Um, hit me up in the comments. I'm not saying that whatever you say I'm gonna do in this case, I will weigh the options. But, but yeah, it's an issue. It's an issue that needs to be resolved. This shit is unprecedented, so there's no blueprint, so you know, I'm going I'm figuring it out as I go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, man. Again, if you were a recruit last year and you're on a team and I didn't you didn't see your name, uh hit me up in the comments, read your name and the team that you went to so I can go find you, fix the SB behind your name, and I'll do a solo quick shot video for you. I think I got everybody. But if I didn't, you know what I'm saying, I definitely don't want to leave anybody out. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you want to be a recruit, at the end of the season, I take profiles and I basically randomly select 10 people along with the legend. I throw you guys into a pool, into the recruiting pool, and this is what happens. You know what I'm saying? You land where you land, you go where you go. You basically exist in the dynasty. Um, and that's what it is. So tomorrow we got 2K. So check that out if you're in the 2K. If not, we got more UTEP on Wednesday. We're gonna be opening up some recruit packs and I'm telling you, these are some of the coldest recruit packs that we've opened up, you know what I'm saying? It's a fire little episode, update episode. Uh, a lot, a lot of movement in recruit, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be exciting. Be sure to come check that out and then we'll get another gameplay video on Thursday, we've got Sean Taylor Road to Glory, and then Friday, we'll be back on UTEP. We got the Stafford game, all right? So, that's what it is. Anyway, Robert, your boy, next time, my name is Flimlo Raps.